Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So we have a Radio Master TX16S and we have an FR Sky RXSR receiver. We're going to get these two to bind up. We're going to get them to communicate. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, because of this video that I did a while back, um, people in comments had said, hey, can you do a condensed version? Hey, can you do one with the Radio Master? Um, you know, things of that nature. So that's why I'm doing this video, and that's why I purchased one of these. So we're talking about a week away from January 2022. So I just received this in the mail. We could say this is good to go for January 2022, and I have no idea what firmware is on here. There could be three different versions, and that's the problem. So stay tuned. So just trying to get, um, before we kind of dive into this, um, I already have a video um, of the XM Plus. So I'll try to remember to put a card here. So the RXSR, I've already done on the uh, QX7. But keep in mind that video is the ACCST. Okay, not access. ACCST. That's where it's kind of confusing, and that's why that's why FR Sky's kind of got a bad name. Now, when I did that video, I knew that the V2 was going to be an issue. Uh, it looked to me like they were going proprietary. They did, and that's kind of the problem because they left behind all of us. All of us that were using FR Sky um, were not backward compatible. So I, I fly a lot of really tiny micro stuff. Um, so a lot, a lot of things might have like a D8 receiver. There's other things, um, but there's three different softwares. There's an access, which is their newest proprietary software that you cannot use on this radio. Access doesn't exist on the radio master, the multi protocol, the multi protocol is using the ACCST. Um, now some people said they use the V2 firmware on their RXSR and they updated some firmware on the Radio Master to get that V2 firmware to work. So they, they are using an ACCST firmware, the V2. I, I just couldn't get it to work and I don't know anybody that could. So we're not going to deal with that in this video. So the V2 is out. The access firmware is out. So if you have uh, a QX7, with uh, access firmware, this video is not for you. I'm not doing anything access and I'm not updating my QX7. So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna go ACCST and we're gonna download the historical. Um, I actually have it on that other radio, but I don't have it on this radio. So where do we find it? Hey, props off. What are you gonna fly now? All right, so we're gonna go in the system and we're going to page over and then we're going to scroll down here Let's see here to firmware we're going to click on that and then in here we have a couple of firmware you you might not see this here the xm plus firmware because that's uh for the video that i did oh. so the xm uh plus firmware but we don't have the rxsr Okay, so we need to go get that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave here. Now, keep in mind that this is on the SD card firmware. Um, so we'll go ahead and shut the transmitter off. And then in the bottom of the radio, we're going to take the SD card out. Man, <laughs> something else to get that out of there. All right, so we have our SD card. We have an adapter. I'm going to jump over to the computer real quick, and let's uh, see what we got to put on this file here. All right, so we're going to go over to the FR Sky website and we're going to pull up the RXSR and we're going to scroll down to download. I'm going to click on the download, go to download page. And now in here we'll see we'll see uh the manual for different things and then we'll see access 
This is the firmware that will not work with the multi protocol. This is a proprietary software. This is FR Sky only, basically. So anyone that, that used FR Sky, including myself, um, just everything I own has FR Sky in it. Um, if you don't update your radio to access, you can't use their stuff. So that means that the radio that you own, if you update it to the newest firmware, then you've just eliminated the backward compatibility with other things like the XM receiver, which I have a couple of uh, D8 receivers in built in SPIs, things of that nature. So this is a real bummer. Um, now we're we're dealing with ACCST, okay? I'm not dealing with access in this. Uh, so if you have an access radio, uh, I'm sorry. So ACCST D16 firmware is is where we need to be, okay? But here's that V2 firmware, okay? The V2 firmware is not what we want. This is this is them making the switch, if you will. This has really confused a lot of people. And it's very frustrating. And that's what prompted to make that other video. We're going to go here to this download section. All right. So in this folder, we have a zip file. Okay. So I'm going to unpack that real quick. All right. So I just made a folder on the desktop called FR Sky uh, Garbage Firmware because that's pretty much what it is. And I'm just going to unpack this zip folder in here. Okay. All right, so we unpacked it, and so here's our zip folder, and here's the unpacked folder. So go ahead and open it. So we're going to be dealing with the FCC, and this is ACCST, and the other ones in here are F port, and so you have FCC and LBT F port, and I'm not going to be messing with the F port. So we're going to go ahead and choose this one. So now we need our our SD card. So this is the SD card that I've taken out of the radio. And here in firmware folder, we want to drop, see where I already have XM plus. That's the firmware for uh, the XM plus. So I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to drop it into our SD card. Okay. So now we have both uh, receivers, XM plus and the RXSR ready to go for our radio master. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to remove the SD card from the computer and jump back to the bench. All right, so we're back at the bench. We have our SD card. So we'll go ahead and pull that little dude out, put it in our radio. All right. So now when we go into our radio, We can uh, switch warning. Oops. We can go into our system here, and we can scroll our page over, and then go to firmware, and then right here we have the file that we need. So that's the uh, the one we're gonna update our RXSR to. I don't know if you want to call it update. We're gonna we're gonna downgrade it all the way back to the 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 oldest one that we can get a hold of anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to go ahead and jump out here, shut this off. Let's go ahead and unpack the RXSR. All right, so the RXSR uh, that I received doesn't have any indication of what firmware it might have on it. And as far as I know, there's no way for me to go in and find out what's on it. So we're going to go ahead and just open this up and... Pull him out. And they do give you a bundle of a bundle of stuff here. So this cable right here is what we're gonna use to update our uh RXSR. And then this cable is what you use to uh plug into your quadcopter. So we don't need this one right now. And this one here plugs in and then this will go into our radio to update the firmware. So let's go ahead and grab the radio back 
All right, so we have our cable here. Before we go any further, we need to really look at this, okay? Um, this might be a setup for an off our sky uh, radio like the QX7, uh, but for this radio, we don't want this sequence, okay? When we plug this into this radio, we want it to be signal ground five volt. So I'm gonna have to take a, I'm gonna have to take a knife, and I'm gonna have to unpin this and repin it. kind of annoying all right so now when we plug this into our transmitter we're gonna have signal ground 5 volt okay so on the back of the transmitter we're gonna go in here all right so in the in the JR bay let me see if I can get some lighting in here just right um, we're gonna plug this in so signal very bottom pin now I've already taken this let me just plug it in here. I, I have already, uh, I'm just gonna push that down on there. And then just to show you, let me zoom in for you. Now just to let you know, I've, I've already taken this case apart and I've used a multimeter to make sure that my five volt pin is that one. I made sure that my ground pin was this one and the signal was this one. Let me turn that, dim that light for you just to scotch. Is that better? So try to articulate it around here so you can see. All right, so got everything set up here. We have our RXSR out uh, where we can see it. And we're just gonna double check uh, our, our manual here. So we can go in to our manual and just make sure that our pin, so we have our bind button right there. Yes, we have our bind button and we have ground all the way that way and here yes we have ground all the way that way um, and then s port s port is the pin that we want to use for updating the firmware and yes we have our s port yellow line going uh, to that pin the two pins that we're not using is s bus in and s bus out we're not using those two pins so just the first three ground five volt and s port and indeed that's what we're dealing with here <clears throat> go ahead and power up the radio we're going to go to system yeah all right <laughs> go to system and page and then we'll go to firmware and then we'll go to rxsr f uh, fcc asa uh, a c c s t and that's the one we want, so we can choose that. Now, flash internal module, absolutely not. Okay, we're in the JR bay, which is an external module. So we're gonna say yes, flash external module. And I don't know if you can see here, but there's some flashing LEDs. We have a the uh, green light is just kinda pulsating just ever so slightly. And then the red light is kinda blinking on and off. And I, I was going to fast forward this, but I don't think I will. I think uh, for purposes of, of the film, we should watch how long it takes. Because sometimes, I, I don't know, sometimes people leave that part out and then I'm like, hey, you know, this thing's still doing its thing. So we're just going to relax. We're not going to touch anything. Let this, because if this fails or something happens to the connection, always make sure your battery on your radio is up, up to par for this. Okay. Um, if something were to happen here, there's a good chance that that's going to be worthless. And that's 20 bucks down the drain. So, I don't know. I'm not really good at singing. Um, have you seen my prop sauce stickers? <laughs> Isn't that cool? I finally got some stickers. So, I'm still writing. I don't know if you can see the LEDs here. does take a while put some jeopardy music on in the background you can fast forward to the end maybe I'll I'll give you a peace symbol at the end when it's when it's done
but yeah definitely make sure the battery in your radio is 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 not too low because if the battery dies right in the middle of this you're done that that will go in the trash can most likely trying to get you to see the leds when it finishes updating okay flash successful and no more leds so they're off okay and now we're done so i'm just going to click on uh return 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 back to normal and then i'm going to go ahead and turn the radio off and we'll go ahead and dis disconnect our rxsr And now we're done with this cable. This cable, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to put it in a, uh, a little pouch with a piece of paper that says RXSR update cable for Radio Master. Because that's all it's going to be worth. Because you've repinned this to, to work with this. So the RXSR is now updated to work with our radio. So what we can do now is... Plug this in without bending the pins over. Okay. And then. We can power this up. With the ground and hot. We can run uh, power to it. And we can bind it. And make sure that it's doing its thing. Um, or you can put it in your quadcopter. Um, however you want to do it. Let's go ahead and then. Uh, Power up the radio. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna enter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create a model. So hold down here, we'll go model select, hold down again, and we'll go create model. And then we're gonna go to plane. And then does your model have a motor? Yes, it does. And then what channel do you want that on? So your throttle is gonna be channel one and then page. And then number of ailerons, um, we're going to one with Y cable. So we just have one aileron for a uh, multi-rotor for a quadcopter. And then what channel do we want that to be on? We want it on two. So tear, T-A-E-R for channel mapping. Uh, so that's where we're setting it up here. So page. And then does your model have flaps? We, we don't have flaps on, a, on our quadcopter. And then page. And then uh, we have aileron, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, elevator and no rudder. We want to move one up. So we have channel for elevator and one for rudder. So that's the ER. So T A E R. Okay. And then we'll go down here. What channel do we want uh, A to be on? We want it on three. And then we want uh, our rudder to be on channel uh, four. Okay. And that's how you set up a, a multi-rotor or, or a, uh, a quadcopter. So that's channel four and we'll go ahead and page and then everything's set up. So uh, throttle will be channel one, aileron on channel two, uh, elevator on channel three, rudder on channel four. And that's how you get just, uh, never mind the M, okay, but it's tear. So when you go to channel mapping in your receivers tab, uh, beta flight, you want, you want that to match up. Okay, so hit return and return, return and hold down on here. And now we're going to back. We're not going forward. We're going to go back. All right, so we want to go to internal. So our internal uh, RF. So go ahead and turn that on. And then the multi is what we want. And then that's fly sky, but that's not what we want. We want FR sky. So just kind of scroll. And then FR sky D16. See, this is the one, I mean, there's some that said that this worked with the V2. I couldn't get anything to work with that. And then there's another one here, X2D16. I wasn't, I wasn't successful there either. So I really kind of bounced around and thought, you know what? There's nothing wrong with FR Sky D16, okay? And then uh, channel number receiver, that was what, 41? So quadcopter 41, 
uh, I'll rename it later, but, um, and then we just want to scroll down here to uh, fail safe mode, um, no pulse. So if this radio shuts off, the battery dies, or the signal uh, from the antenna is lost, I want my quadcopter to go into a fail safe. So once there's no pulses, uh, the RXSR is going to go ahead and just uh, drop the quad onto the ground. Um, let me see here. And then also there's um, fine tuning right here. Um, I don't have a video for fine tuning, but that's something that you're going to want to do with the RSSI. The telemetry that comes back to this radio, uh, that RSSI um, is something that you can use to measure that. I think uh, RC model, uh, RC uh, video reviews, John, he has a pretty good video on that. Uh, so if you want to check out how to do fine tuning, you can do that. Um, I'm not going to mess with that in this video. And then we're going to go ahead and bind this up. Now for me, I have a, a bench supply, so I can I can give this five volts. Um, just a real inexpensive. I'll try to remember to put a video up here for you if you want to check that out. How to build a really <laughs> really inexpensive. 5 volt bench supply. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn this over and make sure none of our wires are touching. See if I can get my fingers in here. Push down on that bind button. And we're going to click bind here and 138 telemetry on. Okay. I'm going to power up the RXSR. All right. And then let go of the bind button. So I have a a rapid firing um, red light, I have a solid blue light, and I have a solid green light. All right, and I'll power down the RXSR, and I'll power it back up. And now I have a solid green light and a solid. Lost. All right, so these are really close together, and that's not good. So you might have problems binding that being so close. In this video, I had to. You really want this radio a little f further away. You don't want them tight together. So our RXSR is bound up and ready to go. Uh, we should get stick movements uh, from our RXSR now. So if if this is something that interests you, see, you can get this bound up and everything. Um, and then also, let me see here. We can go into page. Oops. Go to page. All the way, oh, I could have went back the other way. But. Telemetry. So we can go down to discover sensors. And then here you can see our RSSI value. So if you cover up the antennas are moving far away. So the RSSR, or RSSI channel. And then uh, that, so we have 5.3 volts coming from our little 5 volt power supply. So there's just a little telemetry already uh, before you even put in the quads. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. One of them things. All right. So. Telemetry lost. All right. So we're all bound up. We're ready to go. And that's how it's done. So we'll return here. You know, if we want to, we could go in and change this model to whatever we want to name it, whatever you want. And then uh, remember um, the uh, fine tuning of your RSSI so you can get the best range possible out of it. But that's it. This dude's ready to go in the quadcopter. We'll just unpin this white one. We don't use the white one uh, unless you're doing um, redundant. So if you want to do an XM plus alongside this, which I do have a video here if you're interested. Um, but in this example, we'll just unpin this white one. So hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hate it. <laughs> Man, you give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.